Okay, so in the last video, we set up the jQuery UI file system in our web folder. And so now we can go ahead and start adding widgets, which is really the fun part. And the first widget we're going to add is one of the most popular widgets, the date picker widget. And you can really add that to any element you want. So let's go ahead and we'll put it in our first section. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. You could just add it right to the div, or you could create an input element. And if you took my HTML series, you will remember those input elements that we talked about. You can add it to one of those type of elements as well. So that's what we're gonna do. And let's go ahead and just put it below our second paragraph. And let's go ahead and type in some text here. Pick a travel date. There we go. And let's go ahead and add our input element and we'll set the type to text. And you'll remember that will give us a one line text box. And now we need to create an ID so that we can grab it in our jQuery code. And we'll just set the ID to something, let's just set it to pick date. That works. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and save everything here and let's just go ahead and refresh our page and make sure our one line text box is there. And it is. So now what we wanna do is actually put our date calendar inside this one line text box. So let's go down to our jQuery code and let's go ahead and we'll just keep this jQuery code, I guess. We're not gonna really do anything with these buttons in this video, but we'll go ahead and save it. So let's put our next set of jQuery code right below our click function. And let's go ahead and of course we need a dollar sign. And of course we're going to select the ID that we created up there, which of course is pick date. Now the method that we're going to use is called date picker. What a shock, right? And it's just a method that we can call in our jQuery UI. And that is it. It's really that simple. That's all we have to do. And this should give us a nice calendar where we can select a date. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And let's click inside this box and look at that. We got a calendar and we even got today's date, which is the 20th. And if we select, uh, let's select some date in the future here. Let's go out to April 20th. And you can see the date is even stored in our text box, which is what we wanted. And so you can see how nice this jQuery UI really is. You can get a lot of functionality from just a few lines of code. And with just a few lines of code, we were able to add this really nice date picker to our web page. Now the nice thing about the jQuery UI, and let's actually just click back in here, and you can see it kind of, that's kind of cool, it actually keeps the date for you as well. And if you select a new date, it should update it, and it did. But the nice thing about the jQuery UI and some of these widgets is that it provides a lot of different options. You get all of this extra functionality that we can put inside of our argument right here. And we'll talk about those options in the next video. See you guys then.